This video is for Chapter 2 of Word, and it's going to show you how to actually customize bullets and indents for all different levels. So this one is a little tedious, but it is it, but it can be done. So I am going to go into the bullets to deal with multi-level. Here's my multi-level list. I'm going to click on the drop-down box, and I'm going to come down to define new multi-level list. I am going to click on the first level. We're going to have to do do it for all three levels, but we're going to start off first. The first level, I'm going to go down here to the bullet, where bullet is, and I'm going to actually scroll all the way down to the bottom and select new bullet. Now the bullet I want, they want us to use is character code 113. So this is character code 113. I want it to be for windings. And so windings 113 character, character code. And here is the bullet that I want to use here. I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to go to the font. Choose size 12 because that's what they asked us to use. I'm going to click on OK. Now, I'm not through here because it asked me to set the agents for all levels. This is set for all levels here. You're going to leave this the way it is. But you're going to click on set all levels. And they want it to be 0, 225, and this one is uh, 0.25. And click on OK. And that's for level 1. Uh, level 1, don't click on OK. You're going to come to uh, level 2 and you're going to do the same thing. Find a new bullet to find it. It is the most recent one, which is Wingdings. But I want to just make sure that it is Wingdings. Show you how to do it again. Wingdings. You want 113. That's the bullet here. You're going to click on OK. Change the font size to 12. Click on OK. And that's level 2. You just have one more level to complete. <coughs> level 3. You want to do the same. Go to Bullet. Come down to New Bullet. We're going to do Wingdings 113. Click on OK. Set all levels. It's the same. Click on OK. And now you can see all three levels have been changed. Now I'm going to click on OK. Now, what we want to do is, as you can see, it's already uh, been corrected here. The change has been made. I'm going to highlight this. And I'm going to go to the multi-level again. And this time I'm going to click on list current bullet, which is that. I'm going to highlight it again. Go back to my multi-level, click on list current bullet here, scroll down, and my last one is here, the bullets that I want to change, list current bullets, and there you have it here. That's how you actually create new multi-level bullets, and I hope this helps.